Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to add a bootstrap carousel image slider on a Blazor application. And here we got the final output. Let's wait for a second. See, the bootstrap carousel image slider is working. This is a second image and this is a third image. I have added only three images for this castle image slider. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new Blazor application. Go to File, New, Project. I am selecting Blazor app. Click Next. Let's give the proper project name. Image slider. bootstrap blazer is my project name and i want to save this project in this core blazer folder which is in the d drive click create let's select the blazer server app template create and here the project has been created successfully let me close this default window now before adding the bootstrap carousel image slider to this application, let's check the basic default output of our Blazor app and this application. And here we got our the default standard output of our Blazor application. Now my aim is I want to add a carousel image slider, the bootstrap carousel image slider on this application header. So let's write the coding part first. Stop debugging. Expand the shared folder. Notice in the shared folder there is main layout.razor. Open that one. Now in this razor component, I am adding the bootstrap console image slider. So when we want to implement the bootstrap components on our application, first let's visit the getbootstrap.com website bootstrap.com and here we got our official bootstrap website bootstrap is a free open source toolkit so we don't require any license to use these tools get started i'm using the version 4.5 now here in the search Search for cursor. Here we got our cursor templates here. So for this example, I'm taking the slides only. So copy this code and paste in our application below this about link. So after adding the bootstrap component, next we require the images in this image tabs. So those images I am adding in our project root folder. So right click the root folder, I am adding a new folder called images. Inside these images I am adding some images, right click the mouse, add, go to existing item, go to downloads. And I'm selecting these five images. Click add. Here we got our five images. After that, these are the five images. After that, let's add this image source. Just drag and drop here. Remove this tilt, second image, and third image. Okay. 
and this one is the image one the alternative image for the image two image two and this one is the image three just for the demo purpose i'm adding only three images for this cursor slider now let's run this application how it looks the designing part after adding this bootstrap carousel component and here we got the output notice the images the first image and here we got our new output after adding the images if you notice here it's showing only one image only the reason if you check here that this div the cursor item active if i add active for the image third this image will display so rerun the application Here we got the image three something went wrong here see here we don't require tilt here remove this tilt restart see the image three is active now now let's add a css style to set the image height and width of this cursor images stop debugging for that let's minimize this images folder as well as root folder let me expand this uh, pages folder in this pages folder notice the underscore host.cshtml open that one here i will add one small style in this style i am adding in the style the type is text css and uh, to check in the layout this cursor inner copy this one paste here image the image is the element name this image i'm adding here let's add the width colon 100 percent and the height is equals to height colon 150 pixels and here we need to add dot because it's a class name the cursor iphone inner is a class name so we need to add dot if it's an id we need to add hash here now let's check the output after adding the styles to the images so here we got new output now we require to add some image slider functionality for that let's again what we'll do is switch over to the bootstrap website go to home get started we require the js script copy this script and add here let's stop this development if you notice here this bootstrap.min.cs says is cascading style sheet of bootstrap comes with by default when project is created if you check in the uh, in the root folder css see here we got the bootstrap we require the jquery functionality also after adding the bootstrap js files we require the jquery cdn also again switch over to the browser search for latest jquery cd and google from the search results i'm selecting the hosted libraries in this libraries notice this is the jquery cd and link i require the version is 3.5.1 and pasting here now after that we require to add the small script snippet here script Inside the script, window dot initialize, initialize 
how so how so your se is equals to here i'm adding the interval between this image sliding dollar between double quotes i'm adding the id of our image slider which is this one cursor example slides only copy that one and paste here dot dot cursor interval column 500 semicolon okay we need to add So after that, let's add this script also at the top. Now switch over to the razor component. We need to inject at inject Microsoft dot JS interop dot JS runtime. I'm adding JS runtime. After that, now after that, I am adding one function at functions. Now, inside this function, I am adding the protector async override task protector async override async override task on after render async method render async method and this method takes a boolean type boolean first render then if the first render is available first render is true now in this if condition await await js runtime dot invoke async invoke async the t value object the object we are getting from this initialize console copy that one and paste here column first render is equals to false and that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser and this application and here we got the final output let's wait for a second see the bootstrap console image slider is working this is a second image and this is a third image i have added only three images for this castle image slider that's it in this video tutorial i have shown how to implement the bootstrap console image slider on blazor application thanks for watching